We'll have much more on storm coverage coming up throughout the next two hours. We also have some guests in the studio. A healthy breakfast is important for our kids' success. And nutritionist Gisela Bouvier is back in the studio to get us more on why our kids should be eating breakfast before heading to school and healthy living. Breakfast is often called the most important meal of the day, and for good reason. Eating your breakfast helps replenish your energy and nutrients in the body. And for our kids, they need that replenishment before heading off to class. So we are back with registered dietitian and nutritionist Gisela Bouvier, and she's getting us more on some of our back-to-school nutrition ideas. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me again. We appreciate it. And this is always a challenge for us to try to get the kids to eat. We're in a hurry in the morning, of course. And uh, nutrition is important. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Absolutely. You know, for all children, Children, breakfast is important, but especially school age children, mm -hmm. we really need to make sure that they're going to school or at school really having a nourished meal at the beginning of the day. And the reason for that is that research shows that kids who eat breakfast do better academically, have less absences, behave better, and yeah. overall just do better in school. And so what you want to do is really focus on making sure their meal has all macronutrients, which are carbohydrates, fats, and protein. The combo of everything. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> and making sure that the foods you're really including are nutrient-dense, such as eggs, fruits and vegetables, whole grain, and dairy. Okay. And today I'm really excited to be part of Milk to talk about, to talk about how dairy really can add a nutritional boost to their meals, okay. especially at breakfast and lunch, because dairy supports immune health, bone health, growth as well as brain development. Mm -hmm. So first up, we've got some recipes, especially as parents that are trying to like get out the door. That's the challenge. Exactly, right? yeah. and if your kid doesn't eat um, breakfast at school, then mm -hmm. making sure that we have easy recipes that are still packing a lot of nutrition is really simple to do and also with affordable ingredients. Sure. So first up here, we've got some overnight oats, which this is a fan favorite at my house. All you have to do is get some, oat, some dry oats, blend in some Greek yogurt, some milk, your favorite nut butter, and then top with some berries. Do it the night before, and in the morning, it's ready to go. It is easy to eat, too. It's it, so portable. I love that. Absolutely. You can eat it in the car, sure. right before school, wherever you'd like. And then also, a lot of kids sometimes don't really feel that hunger first thing in the morning, right. but packing them with nutrition is still really important. So a fruit smoothie mm. is a great option. So this one has strawberry, bananas, and milk. If you wanted to add some yogurt for a little more thickness and mm. protein, you can. Or, you know, any fruit combination really is going to make a delicious option. Sure. And again, super easy for your child to drink on the way in a thermos or right before they head out the door. And it tastes good, too. So, so that helps. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, a lot of times we think about eggs are just too cumbersome to make in the morning. Right. But using muffin tins is going to be your best friend. Okay. So Because you can batch cook some egg muffins, right? And this is literally just some eggs whipped up with a little bit of milk, some tomatoes, and some cheese on top. And you could wow. really add any toppings that you'd like and then serving it with a glass of milk because that glass of milk is going to have 13 nutrients and 8 grams of protein. Wow. And so really to help satisfy because it's got some fat and protein in there. And we have to remember how essential protein is for our children because mm -hmm. according to the dietary guidelines, kids between 4 to 9 need at least 19 grams of protein per day. And those 9 to 18 need at least 30 grams of protein per day. Wow. And if your child is very athletic, does mm -hmm. sports, recreational activities, that pro protein is going to, that protein need is going to increase. So incorporating dairy can help really add that nutritional boost and making sure that they're getting adequate amounts. I love that. You can serve those hot or cold, I would Absolutely. say. Absolutely, yeah. Right? And okay. again, ready to go, right? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and that makes it easy. Absolutely. Lunch is important, too. Obviously, a, a very important uh, meal of the day. And it is hard to sometimes pack something that's nutrition, nu nutritional, but that they'll eat. Absolutely. So... First of all, our counties here in Southwest Florida, we're very fortunate in the past few years, there's been the free lunch program for all school-aged children, Great. right? But some, some kids are picky eaters. So if your child is more of a picky eater, packing them a nutritious but simple and affordable lunch is really important. And then they can get their carton of milk at school. Okay. So for example, here we've got an avocado toast with a twist because it's avocado and then blending in some Greek yogurt mm. is gonna again boost that protein um, oh, okay. quantity. And then we've paired it with some baby carrots. And then instead of regular ranch dressing, getting some Greek yogurt with some ranch seasoning ah. makes it delicious and also again it's going to increase their satiety and also add them a protein and nutritional boost and then we paired it with some cheese cubes and tangerines for me giving them options is important because if they're not that hungry or again a little bit pickier mm -hmm. then they're going to be able to really still nourish themselves with the different options mm -hmm. right 
And finally, I see a sandwich, a simple sandwich, but a, a healthy one. Simple sandwich, exactly. Turkey and cheese, most kids will eat turkey sure. and cheese, right? And then adding some lettuce and tomato, A, it creates a little bit more fiber and texture, but also a little bit of food exposure, especially if your child is a little bit of a picky eater, mm -hmm. right? And then you're giving them some fiber there. And then pairing it with some berries and yogurt. Again, something very simple that they're very prone to likely like. And it gives them that nutritional boost with some fiber and some protein and some healthy fat with the yogurt. And then again, they can have their milk carton of milk at school. And if your child doesn't like plain milk, they do have strawberry and chocolate milk options, which still compacts the 13 nutrients that we need, you know, for brain development and to support their growth. And at least they'll drink it. All right. Exactly. Yeah. Gisela, thank you so much. As always, these are some great ideas. And if you would like to get more information and also get in touch with Gisela, we'll put that information on our website, which is abc-7.com. Time right now is 920. We're going to be right back.